Hello, my lovely people. I'm back again with my good friend Blessing. We just finished recording a video on my Ifechi family channel. But as I, I promised you in that channel that there's something that I really, really want Blessing to tell us, to talk to us about um, regarding her health and her diagnosis over, you know, a few years ago. I would like her to tell us, uh, you know, something that we really, because I talk about health here all the time, that we have to look after our health. And it's not a case of when you're diagnosed with some something, a health condition, you will relax and doctors will tell you, you've got how many years, oh, it's advanced. We just we can't do much for you. You just have to wait for the time. No, let me just, not, let me not talk too much. Yeah, let me not talk too much. Let me just leave blessing to tell us. So blessing, what I want you to tell my people today is your journey since your diagnosis. Tell us what we are diagnosed with. When, when and where you are today. Thank you. I think before I talk about the diagnosis, it's important to have faith. Yeah. It's very, very important to have faith because there's nothing that we do that God is not aware of. I'm a child of God and I belong to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So. I have faith. I was diagnosed of, I've gone through so much in life, but I'll just share a little bit for now. I was diagnosed of um, breast cancer, key stage four breast cancer in February, 2020. And the doctor said I had less than 50% chance of living. I had treatment. I trust, I trusted God completely. I still trust God. And I did a lot of research. I've had chemo. I've been having treatment from having my fingernails go rotten to completely restored, mm -hmm. from losing my hair to having my hair grown back. Um, I have done a lot of research in terms of what to eat, what not to eat, cutting off things like sugar, too much carbohydrate, eating more uh, veg, salad, fish, organic food, you know. I've had to cut off so many things. And going from diagnosis that I was told they, they didn't think I would last up to six months, mm -hmm. let alone one year. And mm -hmm. I'm not only here, I do my exercise, I go to the gym. I'm not only here, but if I didn't tell you or anybody what I've gone through or that I'm, I've, got, I've had this kind of... Uh, challenge how challenge i don't think the person would mm. know nobody would know yeah so yeah that's just a bit of my experience yes yeah thank you yes thank you so much so my people as i always say in my channel that it's not a case of whether you're diagnosed with something is what do you do what do you actually do you take the bull by the horn or do you say well i'm diagnosed with this now and i will just relax and wait she did not do that if she had done that, she would not be here today. When we are discussing with her, she gave instances of um, people who have been diagnosed with similar or even less stage of her cancer or other kinds of uh, illnesses that have now passed away. Maybe because of their mindset, because mindset is very important. Mm. She talked about her faith, very, very important. I know at a point she said that she mentioned her faith, faith to the doctors and they were like, they weren't happy because yes, to them, why are you talking about your faith? We are the ones who are doing the job. We are talking about your God, but she knows her God. That's the thing that I, I admire about blessing. She's very a prayerful woman and that is what has kept her today. So doing what you have got to do and also having that faith in God and not in anybody else makes a lot of difference another thing i want to say regarding health where we are now talking about health is 
in fact let me use this opportunity to also mention that um sometime in early december we are going to have um live stream with my husband my husband would give his own testimony because there's a book he's using a book as well so we are going to do a live stream together to talk about our general health and what we do you know if you know me on this channel i have always said it that i don't care how many times i talk about health and how to look after ourselves i don't care how many times because i know the benefit and i know how it has helped me within my own family how it has helped my friends like blessing here it's a great testimony she did you know she didn't want the video to be too long so she cut it all short but believe me she has gone through a lot but she's still here to the glory of god and something else i want to say is um because those of you who know me and my channel and you know i've been talking about essential oil you people saw us a few weeks ago or so when we went for to manchester for essential oils and uh, summit we use that a lot and we introduced a blessing to essential oils when she was initially diagnosed blessing has used some of the essential oils and i would like her to tell us whether she actually benefited from the these essential oils or not and what what, what she thinks about them uh, essential oil is actually has been very uh, helpful it's, you know it's, it's really helped me a lot um, towards my treatment because I started using essential oil the ones I bought from you for mm. more, more than a year now mm. I believe mm. um, I've had especially the oregano the oregano oil is very essential oil is very good the clove is very good I I know maybe I don't know whether other people um, ingest it but I put a drop in the water I probably won't recommend it for someone else I put a drop in the water that's the oregano oil and I'll drink it it's hot yes but i and drink it's it and, is quite hot. and yes. it's really it just it goes straight to the target mm. because i feel it when i take it it pulls that area mm. when i when i drink it i i use the lavender to, i put the lavender in um in like a user. funnel something like a container that i plug in and it infuses my oh, yeah, that's and it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it helps me to sleep mm, very well. There's the Maya towel, mm -hmm. which is really good. There are quite a few that I have bought and used, and they are they have been really, really helpful. They've made a lot of difference in in my health. Okay. And I would recommend essential oil to anyone, especially this essential oil. The doTERRA. 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 Yes. Essential yes. We have to emphasize on that. Yes. Yeah. Thank I would you. recommend it mm. to anyone. Yes. Any yes. My lovely people, you have heard. As I say, we are going to, because my uh, my husband, that's his baby. <laughs> He's the essential oil. He's the one that's no really, really, and I'm just following him. And I tell you, if you see our uh, box of essential oils at home, you'll be like, wow, they are not cheap because they are very authentic. That's why they are not cheap. And anything that is good for you is not cheap. But mm. we cannot trade, you know, anything to do with our health. We don't mind. Mm. So thank God for the testimony from a uh, blessing. As she rightly said, she's not recommending it to anybody. It's, you have to do what is right for you. Mm. Some people don't know that you can ingest essential oil. And it's not every essential oil that you will ingest. Yes. The doTERRA ones, some of them you can ingest, some of them you can't. You can just diffuse have and you ingest. Have you to interrupt yeah. I have used frankincense Okay, oil. yep. And sometimes, because I used to get this pain after treatment on my legs, mm -hmm. and I will apply coconut uh, oil or shea butter, and I'll rub it on my leg, and I sleep very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. And somebody else actually also said to us, that they use peppermint oil, they put a little bit of, um, frag, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, oil, something else, ca a carrier oil, like coconut oil, mm. to rub, and they rub it on their belly button, and they help them to open their bowel. 
So it works for everybody this differently, but you have to get the right ones. I can't overemphasize on that. Don't go to the shops and buy essential oil and try to do what we are doing, saying here, no. But please wait for our live stream coming up on this channel in about, maybe I can't remember, I'm going to set it up and Hobby will be here with us to talk about essential oil. But today I just want to a uh, blessing to give us a, a bit of update about her health, general health, how she's been looking after herself since her diagnosis. People who are medical here will understand stage four. When they say that you have stage four breast cancer, you know what that means. It wasn't only stage four, okay. it actually also moved to the lung. Okay. It moved from the breast to the lung. My people, are you hearing? From the right part, part side of my breast to the lung. So yeah. Yeah. They wrote themselves off. Exactly. But I know that I'm going to live for many, many more years. Amen. Did you people hear that? Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> I rest my case. I'm not going to say anymore. You've heard it all. And we're going to stop this video here. Uh, evil people say, <laughs> So if you have here to hear here, look after yourself. Please, nobody should joke with their health mm -hmm. when you've done everything you can and you're diagnosed with any condition don't just brood over it and think like oh i'll wait no mm -hmm. take the bull by the horn do what you've got to do blessing is a big living testimony thank you so much blessing for coming to my channel you've graced me on ifechi family and now on ifechi health and wellness i appreciate you so much thank, thank you. you so much and say goodbye to my people thank you for having me and <laughs> thank you and thank goodbye to you all thank you everyone and i'll see you in my next one goodbye and god bless